we wish to acknowledge the people of the Kulin Nations on whose land we are gathered today, and we wish to pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. My name's Erica Tandori. I'm the artist in residence at the Ross John Lab, Biomedicine Discovery Institute, Monash University, Clayton. Welcome to the official online book launch of My Goodness, 10 multi-sensory science books created especially for 2021 National Science Week. These books celebrate the United Nations International Year of Fruit and Vegetables, showcasing fascinating science written by some of Australia's leading scientists and researchers on the topic of human digestion and immunity. The books are specifically designed to be accessible for blind, low vision and diverse needs audiences with large print, software interactions, music, sonifications and of course, tactile art. The books are a partnership between Monash University, Swinburne University of Technology, Inspiring Australia, National Science Week, and the Australian Government Department of Industry, Science, Energy and Resources. Together with my Swinburne colleague, Stu Favilla, today we're revealing the latest publication from the Ross John Multisensory Science Book Catalogue and presenting the latest innovations and developments of this project. So sit back and enjoy the fascinating sounds of the digestive system, sonifications, close-up views of tactile artworks, 3D prints, and even sing along to the lyrics of a pop song we created in celebration of the amazing human digestive system. The books build on the rich legacy of Monash sensory science, initiated by Professor Jamie Rossjohn in 2018, which aimed to bring science to low vision, blind and diverse communities. Since then, we have travelled our exhibitions across Australia and even through virtual platforms to the world. These books bring new innovations with interactive software powered by webcams and fiducial interactions. With collaboration from Swinburne University, we're now adding sound and music to tactile art forms, communicating what we see with the eye and feel with our touch into new audible experiences. Hi, I'm Stu Favillo from Swinburne University School of Design and Architecture. I'm a, an audio designer, a composer, and I'm into computer interaction, which is what I teach at Swinburne. When Erica asked me to be involved in this project, I just jumped at the chance. I mean, what an amazing topic to be able to compose music to, the gut biota. You know, uh, uh, around about the fifth of a kilogram in weight, but packing, you know, hundreds of trillions of uh, uh, microorganisms. I mean, how incredible is that? And how to pull that off in sound? Well, really, I had no idea in the beginning, but I've been into uh, synthesizers since the 1970s, and I think that electronic music really has its place at uh, creating sound for things that, that we really have no idea what they sound like. I mean, 
you could get an underwater microphone and put it down into your gut, maybe you, you would hear something. But it wouldn't do anything to really depict the minutiae of the events and the amazing things that are happening between cells and proteins at that molecular level. So um, I've been making music, I would say. Uh, I've created about three hours of music for this project uh, with a whole range of uh, synthesizers. Modular synthesizers are fantastic for this because, would you believe, as old as they are, and, and the, the technology goes way back um, to the late 60s, modular synthesizers can still do things, certain things faster than the digital um, equivalents can. And, uh, and, and so uh, for making uh, uh, all sorts of sounds, textures of sounds, bubbles, and, and all these amazing things, um, they can be really, really fantastic. However, they are usually limited to uh, just making one sound at a time, which means you have to do things um, uh, pretty craftily on the modular synthesizer. So anyway, uh, you're listening to um, music created in that way, and um, the, the pages and the books are all uh, have their own uh, soundtrack uh, that depicts the art. At the same time, we've tried to uh, turn the artwork into sound directly through a very special software program that I've been creating at Swinburne that allows you to take an image and turn it into sound. So the process of turning data into sound is called sonification. And this uh, process that we've adopted is a bit like a spectrograph, but in reverse. And instead of uh, testing every frequency in a spectrum and, and drawing a, a map of it, we're actually taking every pixel in a picture and then re-synthesizing that into sound. Through this technique, we're trying to create a multi-sensory experience of an image that you can feel with your hands and hear at the same time. Here are the sounds of some proteins, vitamin B, vitamin A. Multisensory books are an art exhibition in a book. They're almost completely self-contained, with sounds, narration, artworks that you can touch, feel and interact with. I think we've been really lucky to have some of Australia's best professors and researchers contributing to the book. Our contributing professors include Jamie Ross John on vitamin B metabolites and immunity, Ed Giles on inflammatory bowel disease and the microbiota, celiac disease and the immune response by Jason Tidin, proteins and essential amino acids by Adam Rose, intestinal immunology by Hugh Reed with Andrew Chen and Hannah Ho, dendritic cells. Diet and Immunity by Meredith O'Keefe, Vitamin A and Intestinal Health by Colby Zaff, Diet, Leukocytes and the Immune Response 
by Margaret Hibbs and Evelyn Santikos. Short-chain fatty acids and a high-fiber diet by Hugh Reed with Andrew Chen and Hannah Ho. Immune B memory cells by Kim Good Jacobson. Diet and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease by Hugh Reed with Andrew Chen and Hannah Ho. And cancer of the colon and bowel by Helen Abud. When I was thinking about the creation of this project, the name came to me like a flash. A science book about digestion, fruit and veggies, of course. It's got to be called My Goodness. We realised it sounded like the perfect title for a pop song. So here it is. Just round my home can be a messed up world in a gut biome. Been weeks now since my leukocytes went away, and now I got funky parasites like every single day. Diseased liver making me shiver. With some helmet made me choke, and that's no joke. Got the worms in the hood not feeling so good. Got some gout about, and with the IBD ain't even going out. And please. Help, baby, please, baby, peace. This Crohn's disease is bringing me to my knees, and a lot worse coming down the track. Bam, bada, biota, gotta get you back. Keeps me so healthy. 